Hello students, this is 1.69. A bar of mass m resting on a smooth horizontal plane it starts moving due to force f barabar mg by 3. F equal to mg by 3 of constant magnitude. Uh, in the process of its rectilinear motion, the angle alpha between the direction of force and horizontal varies alpha equal to a into s. A is constant and s is the distance traveled by the bar from in its initial position. Find the velocity of the bar as a function of alpha. So let this is the bar and uh, force is acting on this bar horizontally initially uh, mg by 3 but it is given that in the process of its rectilinear motion the angle alpha between the direction of alpha between the direction of its force this force and horizontal vary as alpha equal to a s and clear that when uh, s equal to 0 distance traveled by this bar 0 but the force horizontally अवेलेबल होगा क्योंकि उस समय अल्फा की वैल्यू जीरो होगी लेकिन जैसे जैसे आप ट्रेवल कराते जाएंगे इस बार को ये एंगल बढ़ाता जाएगा तो आपको बताना है कि वेलोसिटी अल्फा के टर्म में कैसे रिप्रेजेंट की जाएगी तो कंसीडर करिए फॉर अ जनरल टाइम फॉर आफ्टर अ टाइम टी लिख लेते हैं आफ्टर टाइम टी आफ्टर टाइम टी लेट एंगल इज अल्फा and it is equal to as as given then at that moment the direction of force will be at an angle alpha with the horizontal and this force magnitude is consistently mg by 3 question mark force ka magnitude fix hai mg by 3 kewal uske direction vary kar rahi hai so let after time t the angle made by this force with the horizontal is alpha then uh, the component of this force along and perpendicular to this plane will be mg by 3 cos alpha and mg by 3 sin alpha. Besides that uh, mass mg of the bar and normal reaction by the ground will be also there. And bar of mass m resting on a smooth horizontal plane. Since the plane is smooth, no friction component is there. So equations uh, will be upward, downward. Balance equation will be n plus mg by 3 sin alpha will be equal to mg. So normal reaction by the ground can be obtained as mg minus mg by 3 sin alpha. First equation in vertical direction. And in horizontal direction the force pulling the body is mg by 3 cos alpha. The force which is pulling the body is mg by 3 cos alpha. So force pulling the body is mg by 3 cos alpha and this gives mass into acceleration to the body since a is used as a constant so again acceleration is represented by the term omega just on the previous problem mein kiya. so mg by 3 cos alpha is m omega cancelling m omega will be equal to g by 3 cos alpha and as given alpha is a s so omega is g by 3 cos a into s this is the expression relation between acceleration and distance curve. Now we know that acceleration can be written as dv by dt is g by 3 cos alpha s and this by chain rule can be written as dv by ds into ds by dt equal to g by 3 cos alpha s. If I put down the equations, this equation is not a requirement. But if we do general query, we will do the equations in practice. A strong karte hai. so if there would be a second part of the problem that what is the normal reaction of heart by the ground at a particular instant and what is its relation with angle with angle the variation of angle will make any change on n or not so hum is tarikhe se explain karte ki yes there will be a change n will, n will also depend on alpha because it means as the particle as the body will move in forward direction as much as the distance the body will cover the value of n will decrease successively so this relation we know that alpha n is connected the question is that you put up that you have to represent alpha in the velocity of alpha so the force which is acting along the direction of motion is more important for solving the problem mg by 3 cos alpha is the force and this will give m into acceleration. So acceleration will be g by 3 cos alpha, g by 3 cos as. Now omega is dv by dt and dv by dt can be taken as dv by ds into ds by dt. This is velocity. So v dv 
is g by 3 cos alpha s into ds. Now integrate both the sides. V square by 2 will become g by 3 cos g by 3 and integration of cos alpha s ds. Uh, limits for velocity will be 0 to v. So v square by 2 equal to g by 3. And cos alpha s integration is sin alpha s by alpha sin a s. This is a I think. According to given problem, alpha is a s. So sorry, it is a s. Constant name is not alpha, it is a. So cos a s is this. And this is cos sin a s by a. And now put the limits, it is from 0 to s. So v square by 2 equal to g by 3 a and sin a s minus sin g. So final answer will be v square equal to 2g by 3a sin a s and a s can be taken as alpha. So v square is 2g by 3a sin alpha. Velocity will be root of 2g by 3a sin. So this is the relation between velocity and velocity and uh, angle of uh, angle between the force of application, angle between the direction of force of application and version. So, in this way, we can solve this problem. We can remove velocity and alpha in the connectivity because it is 2g by 3 and root sin. How did it happen? Let's see, first of all, we considered that force in the motion direction and find the acceleration. Then, by chain rule, we have to remove velocity and alpha in the direction of velocity and alpha.